If you're in the market for a new tiller, but you're nervous about uncreating it and the initial setup, stick around, we'll walk through how to do it and go from in a crate to ready to use. Step one, cut the metal bands. The PTO is just held in by some wire. We'll untwist those and remove the PTO shaft. Now that the PTO shaft is out of the way and the metal bands are cut, I'm going to dismantle the crate with a hammer. Now that I've thoroughly demolished this crate like an ape, I'm going to use the little subcompact out here, pick up the tiller, and just pull all this out from underneath of it. Just having it out of the crate looks a little bit less daunting. All we need to do is cut down the PTO shaft to the proper length from the tiller to the tractor, check the fluids and grease it. That's all there is to this. Now that the tiller is on the machine, you're going to want to level it front to back. Removing the plug now in the gearbox, we'll see if oil comes out. If so, just put the plug back in. Well, nothing came running out of there, but I slid a screwdriver straight in, and if you can see, the oil level is completely flush with that hole. Let's check the level in the gear case. Oh, yep, and it's running out instantly, so that's definitely full. Now it's time to install the PTO shaft. I took a tape measure, and I measured from the notch up here on the tractor to the notch back here on the tiller PTO. It's raised up, it's 24 inches. When it's sitting on the ground, it's 26 and a half. That corresponds with the PTO shaft, this bolt here, and this lock pin here. Fully collapsed, this shaft is 30 inches long, which is obviously longer than what I have room here for. So I need to cut this down to let's say 22 inches just to be safe and give me some leeway. You want at least one third overlap in the center so if it's 22 inches long what's a third of that? Eight? Seven inches? You'd want seven inches of overlap in the center. And there you can see we got the PTO shaft installed. I didn't show it but we greased it the uh, PTO shaft and the one over here, grease that. Let's go put it to use. This was all sod. No, it wasn't that far. It was about right here. The garden used to end here. This was all sod. Just making a second pass over this whole area and a first pass over this. This King Cutter XB is doing a really good job. It's specifically made for subcompact tractors. That's all there is to it. Probably half hour to an hour worth of work depending on 
your skill level. If you're on the fence about buying one because you're not sure about putting it together, don't let that stop you. It's not that hard. Cutting the PTO shaft is fairly straightforward. And heck, if you cut it too short, you can always weld it back together. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.